just turning this on manually because the water's going out the footing drains, but this is a half horsepower uh, pump installation. Beautiful. This is a typical one-third horsepower installed by someone else. An inch and a half discharge. Here, back up a little bit. This is a two-inch discharge, two-inch check valve. Up and out of the house into a system outside, but 20-inch liner here too to accommodate this much larger Zoller. I think I uh, saw the specs. It's 100 and about 110 gallons per minute at this approximately seven, eight feet of uh, of head or lift. Here are more custom pump installations by us. If you notice, we pin the discharge line to the wall on every installation. Uh, this stabilizes the pump, keeps the pump from moving in the hole. If you'll see this um, installation coming up here where that was not the case and the pump shifted in the hole, that's after we replaced that double pump setup. Here it is again, and you can see how it's allowed the pumps to move. It's very unstable. And there it is after it was pinned to the wall. Here are some poorly installed and outdated pumps uh, replaced with more modern pumps. There's a before and there's an after. And again, more pumps that are just either improperly or poorly installed or outdated as with these old pedestal pumps you can see here. This, believe it or not, is not an uncommon sight we see uh, with strings and hangers and ropes and wires trying to hold them uh, in place. This will demonstrate the amount of work involved to install a sump pump. Here is cutting through solid concrete under the floor, through the floor and under the floor, through the footing if necessary. Here's some of the rubble and fill that comes out from that hole to install that liner which you see in the foreground there. So here's the nice neat finished look, um, but again here is what's involved to install the liner. It's uh, pretty labor intensive as you can see to get this liner in to ultimately get to this point here. Here's an example of an improperly installed sump pump. This we found in a house recently. Um, it was supposedly done by a contractor and uh, good money was paid for it. The pump itself is a industry standard Zoller pump, but everything about the installation is bad, especially the height of the pump. Uh, in an attempt to avoid that intensive labor involved to install the liner deep in, under the floor and lowering the pump to the right level, this off-the-shelf little outdoor yard drain box was used and um, it was a direct result of this sediment building up in the footing drains. These are actual pipes from that same job and you could see the sediment that built up in the footing drains uh, as a, as, like I said, a direct result of that pump being set at the wrong height. It's not uncommon for footing drains to fill up with silt like that over time, but in this case it could have been avoided if that had that pump been properly installed. This video clearly demonstrates there are no one-size-fits-all sump pump applications. Every job is different and very unique characteristics have to be factored into the proper installation.